Good morning, champions. It's good to have you in church today. Say this to yourself. I am an envoy of God's kindness. I am useful to the plan of God on earth. Say it again to yourself. I am an envoy of God's kindness. I am useful to the plan of God on earth. Yes, this is still the assembly of the God begotten and we are still explaining what it means to be begotten of love. What do we mean when we say we are beings of love, we are vessels of love, we are channels of love? Because God is interested in relationships. He's interested in how we relate with each other. Last week we saw that as beings of love, God expects us to be patient towards all men. Not just the rich, not just the educated, not just the anointed, not just the powerful, not just the well-behaved or the grateful. God expects us to be, to be patient with the unruly, the unthankful, the evil, the idle, the indisciplined, all men. Today, we're still at that our scripture, 1 John chapter 4, verse 7 and 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4. And God is talking to us about kindness. Let's read 1 John 4, 7 says beloved let us love one another we've been here for weeks we'll still be here for a long time for god for love is of god and everyone that love it is born of god and know it god and in first corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 which is literally like the love mirror where you look in to know if you are love loving and obeying the command jesus gave to love he says love is patience yes thank you for this love suffers long and is kind we saw the suffer long suffers long last week which is actually love is patience we saw that patience last week today we're going to look at love is kind now kindness looks different and means different things to different people let me quickly add that the kindness spoken about here is not the kindness the world knows it's not the one the world defines because it's the kindness as god knows it the kindness of God was revealed to us in a person. He came to lead us away from sin and save us. Not because of any good thing you and I had done, but because of his own mercy. That is not kindness that the world is capable of. Today I want to draw your attention to one word that I saw as I was studying the Greek perspective of the word translated kind in 1 Corinthians 3, 13 verse 4. The word is useful. Kindness is usefulness. So when Paul says love is kind, he's essentially saying love is being useful to yourself. Love is being useful to others. And love is being useful to God. When you say I am kind, you are essentially saying I am useful to myself. Because kindness begins with you. I am useful to others. And I am useful to God. If by the time you say, I am kind, you don't tick these three boxes, you are talking about feeling. Kindness is not a feeling. I cannot feel kindly towards you. I can only act kindly towards you. So kindness is not an emotion. It can, it, 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 it's an action. You can only express it through action. You cannot feel kindness towards me. So what does it mean when we say kindness is usefulness to self or kindness begins with you? Kindness as usefulness to self is waking up daily and choosing to do what you know you are supposed to do that is best for you. When you do that, you're being kind to yourself. It is a decisive commitment to your daily plan. Kindness to self is intentionally putting yourself in the process of growth in line with the vision God has revealed to your heart. Kindness to self, kindness as usefulness to self is daily taking a chance on yourself because to, today is the tomorrow you talked about yesterday yes. don't know if you got that yeah, got this day is the tomorrow you and i talked about yesterday kindness to self is putting yourself in the process of growth that will take you to that vision revealed in your heart it is daily committing to your decisive plan is daily committing to what god has revealed to you 
And the second sense of it, kindness as usefulness to others. What does this mean? This is intentionally and consistently choosing to do what is best for others. When you, when you sweep, for instance, your refuse from your compound into the gutter, that is not kindness, both to your neighbor, to yourself, and to the environment. For in that moment, if you understand kindness as usefulness, you have, by your own action, declared yourself. It doesn't matter whether you're a professor, a doctor, a lawyer, or whatever your profession. By that singular action, you have declared yourself to be useless to yourself, useless to your neighbors, and useless to your community, even the environment. Kindness is usefulness. Being unkind is being useless. Kindness as usefulness to others is an intentional decision to place the needs of others above yours. Sometimes kindness as usefulness to others may mean looking someone in the eye and saying no and choosing the path to be misunderstood. It's a lonely path because you know that yes, maybe the, the answer now because it's a popular choice, but it is not in the best interest of that person from your vantage point. Kindness as usefulness to others so when we say kindness as usefulness to god what are we talking about kindness as usefulness to god is a wholehearted commitment to walk in obedience as salt and light of the earth and to fully embrace the protocol of love expressed in good works Matthew 5.13 literally gives us this definition of kindness as usefulness to God. Because we are begotten and placed here on earth to disciple nations, to take over whole territories, to reclaim our communities, redeem our neighborhoods from negative vices, and model Christ to our families. But guess what? We will only be useful in that vision if we embrace the protocol of love and live a life that draws men and points them to the Father. Kindness is usefulness. Usefulness to self, usefulness to others, and usefulness to God. So you ask yourself, am I kind? Because your heavenly father is kind. Every day he intentionally makes himself useful to the bad and the ugly, the good and the best, the evil and the unthankful. You too, me too, we can be kind because we are partakers of his nature. So open your eyes as you're going home today. You are going to see needs and begin to see like your heavenly father. Be kind, be useful to the hungry person that is in your neighborhood. Be useful to the naked children by your house. Be useful to that your neighbor who can't pay the child's school fees. Be useful to your classmates who, has no, who have no notebooks but you have a lot of space. Be useful to the nursing mother who would benefit from one hour of your assisting for that woman to sleep. Be useful to the single parent who is pressed for time. Be useful to the elderly who is overburdened by load. Don't just walk by because you are afraid of witches. Kindness is usefulness to self, usefulness to others, and usefulness to God. Your heavenly father is kind. And he says, be kind, for I am kind. Please, let's rise and let's speak these words together. As you say it, say Take it as a, a mantra at home. Take a line, take the whole verse, whichever one your mind can carry. Say with me, I am a faithful envoy of God's kindness. Say it like you mean it. I am useful to myself. I am useful to others. I am useful to God. I am patient with the lazy. Gentle with the weak. And encouraging to the timid. Jesus is a revelation of the loving kindness of the Father. He lives in me. I am a revelation of his kindness to my world. I am a vessel of love. I am the beloved of God. I represent God amongst the people I live with. I am a powerful display of God's faithfulness. I am the tangible proof of the love of God. I am a message to my world. 
that Yahweh is God. I reflect the love of Jesus in my daily life. I am an ambassador of God's kindness. I operate in the capacity of the Son. I am a being of love. I place the needs of others above my own. I am the embassy of God on earth. God's kindness has taken up residence in me. I calmly bear with people's failings and frailties and act positively towards them. I am an envoy of God's kindness. I am useful to the master and prepared to do any good work. I am God's agent of change in my neighborhood. I am his transformation minister. Everywhere I go, I leave a piece of heaven behind. I am useful to the poor around me. I am useful to the hungry. I am useful to the elderly. I see as my heavenly father sees. And I meet the needs I see. At the level I can. My life reflects the kindness I receive daily from God. Open your mouth and thank God for the privilege to represent him to your family, to your, to your students, to your children, to your neighbors. Then thank you, Father, for the privilege to be your ambassador of love, to represent you, to be an envoy of your kindness. I receive the grace to be useful to myself, useful to others, and useful to God. May I be forever re be relevant in your plan. May I forever be relevant to your plan, to what you are doing on earth. In the name of Jesus.